So shifting gears now, that was our head outside single low. In the head outside single series, we got a head outside single dump, step across, power lift, head outside single rotate double, head outside single lift swim, head outside single he spins post lift out the back door. That won't be in a hard show at the end of practice, all right? And at the end of the week. Um, high crotch. Did uh, you guys talk about the difference between a high crotch and a head outside single yet? No, okay. We differentiate a high crotch and a head outside single by the penetration step we take, okay? They will both get us to the same place, but there's two different methods of getting there. If I shoot a head outside single, I'm going to be doing what we call a knee over toe penetration. My knee drives over my toe, my trail leg steps up, I drive up to my feet, all right? We did that all day long. That's a head outside single. I use a head outside single to cover distance, all right? Um, heels just for one second. When I'm doing a head outside single, what I'm trying to do is cover distance. That could be in a post. When I do a post, we may step back. There's all this space to cover. I post to my head outside single, all right? I cover distance. High crotch is half that motion, all right? We're gonna do what we call an outside step knee drop. That means my outside foot, my left foot's gonna take a step, my right knee's gonna just drop. I'm gonna go from here to here. Here's the benefit, all right? I'm already in good position to drive to my feet, all right? It's easy for me to get to my feet from that high crotch position. Much shorter step, I'm not covering that distance, all right? But the application is different. Now, I'm working on the guy that's pushing into me. He's being a bully, he's providing a little bit of pressure, and my goal is basically to get underneath that arm. All right? So I don't need that long shot. I see you guys, you shoot that head outside, see so you get here, he sprawls, you end up here. The great thing with the high crotch step is, my trail leg's already up, all right? it's easy, easy for me to get to my feet. All right? I don't have that problem of that long extended shot. All right? Both are good, both have different applications. A lot of people think anytime you get here, it's high crotch. So you guys know, head outside single is a knee or toe penetration. I take a step with my right foot, my right knee drives on my toe, my trail leg steps up, I drive my feet. You probably learned that day one of wrestling. Day one of wrestling, coach probably lined you up on the mat, made you had, had you do that right across the mat. Now we're doing something different. Outside step, knee drop. Left foot takes a step, right knee drops. I go from here to there. Now, at this point, you guys did a ton of this. Inside position, wrestling. I have an inside tight collar top. I'm the bull. I'm beating him up with my hands. I'm pushing him around. We're gonna work on where we have outside control. I'm gonna have his elbows, all right? How do we score when a guy's got my head? We're gonna go from what we call a double elbow bind. Now look, even though he's got inside position on me, I'm not gonna relinquish my stance, all right? I'm gonna pull my elbows into my body and get his elbows away from his body. Notice, he's more extended than I am, regardless of the fact that he's inside. Now, I told you my goal is to get this leg, but really, I gotta beat this arm. My head has to go under this arm. I'm gonna do what I'm doing what we call an elbow pull. This is crucial. Understand this. He's got my collar. This is a very strong position for him. He's pulling on my head, he's putting weight on me, just like we showed you to do. I have to have a serious action here to beat this arm. All right, I'm gonna do what we call an elbow pull. I'm gonna pull his arm over top of me as I take a step with my left foot and my right knee drops to the mat. I'm gonna go from here to here. Notice, I pull. As I do that, I took my step with my outside foot, my right knee drop, and immediately I'm gonna drive my feet. When I do that, I do not drive this direction. I drive this direction across his hips. I'm going to bounce off my knee. Outside step, knee drop, I'm exploding off this foot, that direction, here, across. My knee hits the mat for a split second. It's a short, brief, explosive shot, all right? Double elbow line. My head is in the pocket. I cannot do a high crotch from back here. That's head outside single territory. This is where I'm tight. There is not space. He's being a bully. He's got my head. I gotta get under that arm. It's almost like a duck under. Double elbow bind, high crotch. From here, let's look at my position. My head is up, my back straight, my butt's underneath me. I'm in a good solid stance. Notice my pressure. I have pressure across, my ear is in his ribs. I'm in good position. From here, my motion is always the same. Into him, circle back. Into him, circle back. Double elbow bind. We're gonna double elbow bind. Heads in the pocket, double elbow bind. High crotch, outside step, knee drop. 
My left foot steps outside. My right knee just drops. Immediately, I explode. <clears throat> Drive across his body. Um, when I think of a high crotch, to me, I'm putting every ounce of energy into one quick burst. If you look at wrestling, I say this all the time, it's like an EKG, all right? This is the pace of the match, all right? This is what the stud recognizes, or it's innate to his body, it's in his DNA. Moment of impact comes. It's time for a shot, or he shoots, or there's something happening. The stud recognizes that the adrenaline level has a spike. And for that instant, it spikes higher than his opponent, all right? I have to put every ounce of energy in this shot. You guys see those karate guys, they break the board. I don't know if that's real or not. I don't know what that is. If it's just physics of where he's striking it or whatever, all right? But I hear them say they put every ounce of energy into one inch of their body. That's how I think about a high crotch. Every ounce of energy has to go into beating this right arm, beating this collar tie. This is a strong tie. He's beating my head. He's, he's secure on my head. I got to get him over top. I do that with a hard elbow pull and he's pulling. Notice, I went in and across. I'm going RV for a split second. This guy's going to be driving in hard. I cannot stay on my knee. I explode to there. Quick shot, get your head up. Here's what a lot of you are going to do. You're going to do a half knee over toe penetration high clock where you go like this. You take a step here, then real quick you take a step with your left foot. My right foot does not move. My right knee is just going to drop. Here. Immediately, in that way. Um, let's go to a dump. You guys learned a dump earlier this morning. A dump is very applicable to my high crotch. Here's why. I have so much motion across his body, it sets up well for a dump. Here's what I want you guys to focus on. You know the dump finish. I want you guys to have almost zero transition time from your into him motion to your dump. So I want it to look like this. High crotch. Into him, circle back, dump. No pause, no wait, no stop. One motion, explode. That adrenaline spikes from here to here. All right? For that instant, for that one second of time, you expend more than he does. All right? Within your stance, within good position. <clears throat> Double elbow body, what my head is in. It's in the pocket. I'm in a good solid position. High five, into him, circle back, dump. Notice when I finish that motion, I'm in my stance. I'm in good solid position and I'll cover. I did not fall with him. Now, if you guys aren't comfortable with the motion and you can't get intense yet, you can go this slow, but I want it smooth. Double elbow bunny, high crotch. Circle back, dump. We got it? Let's do it. One, two, three. 